Good day everyone. So today in this video, I will be showing you that how you can enable the group policy editor GP edit on your Windows 11 or Windows 10 home edition. Now we all know group policy editor has many kind of hidden hacks that we can apply in order to make some changes on our Windows operating system. But unfortunately, the Windows 10 or Windows 11 home edition doesn't have this feature. But fortunately, there is an easy trick that you can apply in order to enable the group policy editor on your Windows 11 or 10 home version. All right, so right now you can see I'm on my Windows 11 home edition. So if I bring up the Winver, so you can see here it's version 24H2, the Windows 11 home operating system. And now if I search for a GP edit on my Windows search, so you will find that I don't get any recommendation here, any suggestions that I can use to enable or open the group policy editor. Even if I type group policy, I'm not getting anything over here. I can do the same from the run box. I can type GP edit. I will not get anything here. All right. So now what you will have to do, you will be getting a file in the description. This is a bad file by the name GP edit enabler. So you will have to download it. Now don't worry, it's totally safe and even you can view it. It contains all the DISM commands so that you can easily uh, enable the group policy editor on the home edition. And if you want to view it, just make a right click on it and choose edit in notepad. And now you can read that what exactly command it contain. Okay. And you can read it says enabling the Microsoft Windows group policy packages. And at the bottom it says DISM. So of course it's a safe tool. So you don't have to worry. All right, now once you have downloaded it, now make a right click on this GP edit enabler, choose run as administrator. And this will bring up a black window. And now you can see it's running all these command, adding the package, a Windows group policy client. So wait until it's all been done. And once it get completed, now simply go ahead and restart the computer and it will be all done. So let's wait until the computer has been restarted. Okay, and the computer has been restarted. And this time, if I search for the GP edit, I'm still not getting the suggestions here. Okay, so that's okay. So what you have to do, you just need to add .msc. So I just type GP edit .msc and you can see I am getting the group policy editor in the suggestion. So I will click on it and bingo. So now you can see that the group policy editor is working absolutely fine on our uh, Windows 11 home edition. And even let me show you, if I bring up the Win version again, this is the same Windows 11 home operating system only. It's not any other operating system. So this way you can easily enable the group policy editor on the Windows 10 or 11 home edition without having any kind of problem. And that's all guys for today. Hopefully you found this information, this tutorial useful. If yes, make sure that you hit the like, subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.